Good morning and welcome to day 18. I have to start today by saying happy birthday to my big sister. She is, oh, <laughs> she's 54 today. That's right. I'm nearly 52. She's 54 today. And also happy 13th birthday to Noah. I don't know if Noah's watching. Noah's mum might be watching or might watch at some point. But happy birthday to you both. I'm sure there's lots of people's birthdays as well, so sending lots of lovely wishes to you as well. Start today just by closing or softening your eyes and tuning in to yourself and notice how you feel today. How does your breath feel? How does your body feel? Pay attention to what it's telling you, what your body's telling you. Notice if you can soften anywhere where you're holding tension. If you can deepen your breath or slow it down so that it's just right for you today. We'll start with some um, box breathing. So this is a really good breath to calm things down, to relax, to rest and digest, to bring a bit of extra play from the parasympathetic nervous system. We've done it before. It's inhaling for four, pausing for four, exhaling for four, and pausing for four. A good way to practice is using our ujjayi breath, so a slight constriction at the back of the throat that helps you have just a little bit of extra control. That means that you can have the breath, inhale or exhale, a bit more under your control, so at the right speed for you. So, inhale for four. Pause. Pause. Inhale. Pause. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Just allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Keep your eyes soft or closed and notice how you feel. Notice any shifts in your nervous system or sensations through the body. And breathe. Okay, let's come to lying down. Stretching out your legs, arms down by your side, palms upwards, and allow your body to sink into the mat. Maybe sweep the arms overhead, coming into a full body stretch. And breathe. Walk the feet to the right and the shoulders. Take hold of the left hand for our banana side stretch. Notice the areas of stretch that you feel down the left side of the body and what you feel that's different on the right. Release, come back through center, heels to the left, shoulders to the left, taking the right wrist in the left hand to 
Does it feel different or similar? And release. Take the knees into the chest and rock a little side to side. And place the left foot down on the mat. Take the right foot up to the ceiling, holding behind the thigh. Inhale and lengthen through the heel. Exhale and soften. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and soften. One more. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and soften. Let's take a reclined pigeon. So keep that foot flexed. Right ankle to left thigh or knee. Either leave it there or lift it. Encouraging that thigh away from you. You know the drill. And sink into that stretch. And breathe. Maybe stretch the left foot up to the ceiling just to add a hamstring stre uh, stretch on the other side. And then rock a little side to side. Release that left foot down, take the foot back down to the mat and swap sides, right foot to the mat, left foot to the ceiling, taking hold behind. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and soften. Lengthen and soften. Lengthen and soften. Lengthen and soften. Keep that foot flexed, left ankle to right knee or thigh, and your choice of position. Notice each tiny bit of sensation through that left hip. Take the right foot up, keeping the foot flexed. Feel that hamstring stretch and maybe rock just a little. And breathe. Release, take both feet flat to the mat and just let them fall to the right side. Maybe taking your arms out and your gaze to the left. Leave your arms where they are and swap the knees over to the left side and the gaze to the right. And breathe. Come back to centre. And we're going to take a happy baby here. So... Take your feet up to the ceiling, knees are bent. Take the knees wider than the mat and reach up on the inside of the knees to take hold of the outside of the feet. Feel that stretch through the hips. And breathe. Sinking the thighs down towards the mat. Release. Take the hands behind the knees, have a little gentle rock and roll and come up to seated. So start by sitting with one um, ankle in front of the other. So you're lining up your heels and come and find a comfortable position. Take some side stretches. So left hand down, right hand sweeps up. Take it straight over and sweep. So have a little bit of flow in your side stretches, moving side to side at the speed that's right for you. And one more each side after this. Left and then right. And come back to centre. Take an easy twist. So inhale, arms up. Right hand to left knee, left hand behind. Inhale, left hand to right knee, right hand behind. And again, first to the left. And up and to the right. One more each side. Up to the left. Up to the right. And release. Let's come to four point kneeling pose, tabletop. So we're going to thread the needle first today. So find your position so that the knees are hip width apart. Knees are under the hips. 
Start with the right hand, right hand up to the sky. Then thread it through under the left side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread through. One more and stay. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread through, shoulder down to the mat, using that left hand to push the mat away. And breathe. Push back to tabletop and swap sides. Left hand up, exhale through. Left hand up, exhale through. One more. Left hand up, exhale through and stay in your threaded needle. Pushing the mat away with that right hand. And breathe. Push back to tabletop and all the way back to child's pose. Maybe taking the knees wider and sinking down to the mat for a wide-legged child's pose. Use your hands for your forehead if you wish. And breathe. Then come back up to tabletop and we'll take a puppy pose. We've done this before as well. So keeping the knees under the hips, sit bones heading to the sky, walk the hands forward, sinking the chest towards the mat. And when you're as far as you can go, you can drop the forehead if that's right for you. You can keep your elbows off the mat for a little longer if you wish. And breathe. Notice the sensations across the chest, across the shoulders. Maybe drop the elbows and take the palms together behind the head, Anjali Mudra. And breathe. Release the hands back down to the mat and come back up to tabletop. We're going to do gate pose, so I'm going to mirror here because I'm turning towards the camera. So extend out that right foot, turn the left leg a little behind so that it's like a kickstand, drop the right foot to the mat and come on up in a variation of a half side plank. Then be strong through the core and lift all the way up and breathe. Drop the right hand to the right leg and sweep the left hand over and come back. Drop and sweep and come back. One more. Drop and sweep. Feel that stretch through the side of the body and release. Take that left hand back to the mat return the right hand to the mat coming back to tabletop i will turn round so i can still face you we'll do that on the other side so this time reach the left leg back turn the right leg back a little at the knee so it's there for support drop the right foot place the hand centrally and raise that left arm to the sky then be strong through the core and rise up and breathe. Drop the left hand and sweep the right hand over. And release. Drop and sweep. And release. One more. Drop and sweep. And stay this time. Don't let that shoulder drop in. And feel that stretch down the side of the body. And breathe. And release back. Let that right hand come back to the mat. Let the left hand follow. Come back to tabletop and push back to your child's pose. And breathe. Come back up through tabletop. Take the hands a little forward. Tuck the toes. Hover the knees. Sit bones to the sky. Downward facing dog. Maybe pedal the feet a little in your downward dog. Getting that hamstring stretch. 
and then find your stationary dog. Slowly walk the toes to the hands or the hands to the toes. Generously bend the knees, lengthen through the spine and sweep up into Utkatasana, chair pose. Maybe take the hands behind and come up onto your toes. Awkward chair or flying chair, <laughs> wobbly chair. And release. Just pause. Pause and notice how you feel. We'll have a tree followed by a warrior one and warrior three. So start shifting the weight into the right foot. Turn the left leg. Find your foot position. Remember not to place the foot on the knee. The lower leg is fine. Staying on the mat is fine. Or bring it higher. Find your drishti. Find your tree. Grow your branches and even have a blowing tree. Blown palm, it's called in children's yoga. <laughs> Adding a little bit of extra work and release. Just pause. Compare one side of the body to the other and breathe. Switch legs, so shift the weight into the left foot, turn the right, find your tree, wherever is right for you today. Take the hands together, grow your branches and let your branches wave in the breeze. <laughs> Not so easy. And Release. Nicely done. Pause and notice. Then turn towards the left um, short edge of the mat. Send the left foot out and the right foot back, but keep that hip, the hips forward. Raise the arms up, bending that leg. Warrior one. Be strong in your warrior. Maybe take the hands behind, lift through the chest and humble your warrior. And breathe. And release. Warrior one. Okay, coming into warrior three. So be nice and stable on that front foot. Come onto the tiptoes of the back foot. Hands on the hips if that's comfortable. And just start to hinge at the hips, sending that back foot up and out. This may be your warrior three. Or hinge a little further, toes to the ground, hands maybe to heart center. Or out and breathe. Step back, warrior one. Nicely done. Swap sides, turning to the right edge. So, right toes to the short edge, left toes come in, sweep up, warrior one. Maybe take the hands behind, interlace and lift, and humble your warrior. And breathe. And rise up. Warrior one. Then coming into your warrior three, strong standing leg onto the tiptoes, hands on the hips, tilt at the pelvis, coming into warrior three. Wherever is right for you today. And breathe. Step back and wobbly. Warrior one. And release. Let's take a wide-legged forward fold just as a nice back release. So soften the knees, hinge at the hips, down to the mat and bend and stretch side to side. Just walk the feet in 
and simply come down to seat it. We'll take a butterfly here, soles of the feet together, holding on at the ankles, lift through the chest and hinge at the hips. And breathe. Walk back up, turn and roll down to lie on the mat once again, bringing your knees into your chest. We'll just finish with a supine twist. So allow the knees to drop over to the right, sweep out that left arm, following with your gaze. And breathe. Bring the gaze back, knees back through centre, down to the left, sweep out, follow with your gaze, and breathe, come back through centre, come back with your knees and stretch your legs out for Shavasana, relaxation. Find yourself a comfortable position, either seated or lying down. Notice your breath. Notice the inhale. Notice the exhale. As you breathe, notice that at the top of the inhale there's a slight pause and at the end of the exhale there's stillness. Now take your attention to your body. Notice how the earth supports your body. Allow your attention to move down the right arm to the right hand. Notice your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your little finger. Notice the palm of your right hand and the back of your right hand. Be aware of the whole of your right hand. Allow your attention to shift a little higher to the right wrist. Then the right forearm. The right elbow. the right upper arm and the right shoulder. Notice the whole of the right arm and where it connects to the earth. Now allow your attention to move across the body to the left arm.
trace down the left arm to the hand. Notice the left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger. Notice the palm of the left hand and the back of the left hand. Be aware of the whole of the left hand. Allow your attention to shift a little higher to the left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm and the left shoulder. Notice the whole of the left arm and where it has contact with the earth. Support it. Be aware of both of your arms. Notice how they're resting. Relax. Allow your attention to shift down the body to the right leg, all the way down to the toes. Notice the right big toe, the second toe, third toe, the fourth toe and the little toe. Notice all of the toes on the right foot. Notice the top of the right foot and the sole of the right foot. Allow your attention to shift a little higher to the right ankle, the right lower leg, the right knee, the right thigh, up to the right hip. Notice the whole of the right leg and how it's supported by the earth. Now shift your attention over to the left leg, all the way down to the toes. Notice the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and little toe. Notice all of the toes on the left foot. Notice the top of the left foot and the sole of the left foot. And allow your attention to shift a little higher to the left ankle. Notice the left lower leg the knee, the thigh and the hip. Notice the whole of the left leg and how it's supported by the earth. Be aware of both of your legs. Now shift your attention to the abdomen. 
Notice it rise and fall with the breath. Notice the chest. See also how it rises and falls with the breath. Notice the back and the full length of the spine sinking into the earth and supported by the earth. Attention higher to the neck and to the muscles of the face, to the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the ears. Notice the whole of your face and all of your head resting on the earth and supported by the earth. Notice your whole body relaxed, supported, safe. Allow yourself to sink into the earth for just a little longer. Now bring your attention back to the breath. With each inhale, energy comes into the body and with each exhale tension disappears. Start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Bring movements back to the body, ready for your day. ready either stay there or gently rock up to a seated position finishing where we began notice how you feel notice your breath notice your body enjoy your day see you soon